Do you want to make music like this? For free? You can! I'll show you how. Alright guys, we're gonna try to make something in Cakewalk. I've never used it before, but we've got this free BBC Symphony Orchestra instrument from Spitfire Audio, which you can get too. Just go to their website and fill out their marketing survey thing and you get it two weeks later. I know it's kind of a ridiculous way to get a free instrument, but this thing is awesome. So we have to have the Spitfire Audio app, which is totally fine. And it's also a great way to get the Labs instruments, which are also totally free and sound amazing. So this instrument is uh, about 400 megabytes, which is pretty small in the realm of sample libraries, uh, which is pretty great. So hopefully your computer can handle it. All right, the other thing we're gonna need is Cakewalk by BandLab. If you're on a Windows computer, if you're on a Mac, use GarageBand, okay? GarageBand is awesome, you should use it. Uh, but I mean, that's if you have a Mac, right? So Cakewalk by BandLab, download. All right, first of all, log into BandLab. Quick check on Spitfire Audio, that's going good. Ah, there we go with BandLab. Perfect. What do you want to install? I'm going to install everything except Melodyne because I actually have a version of Melodyne that I own already. And so, uh, but you might as well install Melodyne. It is voodoo magic. All right. Downloading. Here we go. Getting BandLab installed here. Installing a few more plugins here. All right. Looks pretty cool. Whenever you come across something you don't know how to do, uh, my recommendation is go watch YouTube tutorials. And if you get bored watching the YouTube tutorials, watch them at two times speed. Uh, there's a lot to learn with these programs and watching a tutorial can really save you hours of frustration. So please get in that habit because these programs are complex, but once you get to know them, they're not so bad. This is my first time in Cakewalk ever. Okay, so I added some folders here to tell Cakewalk where my virtual instruments are. Common one is in Program Files, Common Files, and VST3. Another common one is Program Files, Steinberg, VST Plugins. And I have some other ones too. It's a bit technical, but again, if you're lost, watch a YouTube video. All right, so we are going to add an instrument track. And the instrument is going to be the BBC Symphony Orchestra. There we go, and that'll work great. So here are our violins, fantastic. Okay, and now start composing with them, I suppose. Yeah, oh, there's a nice virtual controller. There we go. We're gonna view, open the piano roll view. It's great, we can start typing in notes. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in here a bit. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a note. See if we get any playback. No. Where is our playback? Oh, probably because this note is probably too high. So let's go down to the area where the violins normally play. There we go. All right, how about we go with a, like, genre. Jean -tum -tum. How about that? There we go. Let's play back that. Okay, that sounds very legato. What if we want it to be fast, though? Okay. One eternity later. So, yum. Uh, let's go this to E flat. There we go. There we go. There we go. Jump, pom, 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 pom. And I think you could probably highlight notes. There we go. Copy. And then maybe try pasting. Pasting. There we go. Let's play this back, see what it sounds like. Okay. And that's pretty fast. Yeah. So let's see. We are going to try to pull up our instrument there it is okay so let's change to the articulation to spiccato something very articulate and i'm going to change our tempo a bit as well i can be how about 90 beats per minute all right great so we've got this little thing going on fantastic 
I'm going to zoom out a bit more. Highlight this whole measure. I'm just going to keep this ostinato going. There we go. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Four measures of it. Okay, and now let's add another track. Let's add another instrument. So we're going to add a instrument track, another BBC Symphony Orchestra. Yes, yes, yes. And let's choose another instrument. Let's try adding the celli. Yes, the cellos. Let's do long notes. That sounds good. And expand this track a bit. Good. We're going to view the piano roll for this track. Uh, let's see. We want to clear the track selection. No, 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 no. Yes, let's see if this is the cellos. Okay. So we're going to scroll down to maybe C3. Ah, uh, sounds like a cello to me. All right, what if we have a long note just on a C? There we go. Let's try that. That's very nice. Uh, we'll add another long note here in measure three, I guess that would be. And we'll try to add another instrument and just see what we can get it to sound like. How about some epic French horns, right? Okay. Uh, we'll do long notes for French horns. We also have staccatissimo French horns. That's cool. All right. That's great. So long note French horns. And yeah. We've got that track focused. Let's see, put them in an, this octave right here. Yeah, let's have them start in measure uh, three. And we'll have them play half note on C. There we go. And then how about a half note on G? No, A. Oh, A flat will be fine. Yeah, happy accident. Okay, a little Bob Ross moment there. Okay, back to measure three. Alright, I like it so far. Uh, we're going to change this. So how about... Ball, ball, ball. Okay. Ball, Let's try that. Uh, how about body? We're going to make it very, very dissonant. Okay, let's go up to B natural. All right, B natural is going to sound very tense. It's going to be great. I like it. Great. And then at the beginning of measure five, Let's have it be this big epic moment of big hits, you know, and uh, I think that'll sound quite cool. So we'll go and try to focus on this track. There we go. It's the violins. Okay. I'm mostly just going to close this window. I think we need it. We're just going to click in all the notes. So anyway. All right. Uh, so we've got Jean. I wonder if we could do like chords. I think we can do chords. How about jump them? Let's see if that sounds all right. Let's see here. All right. Jump, bump, 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 bottom. How about that? So we'll go like, uh, we'll just copy one of these violin chords. There we go, copy. So yum, bum, and then bum, bum, bum. And then we'll change the chord right here to become a five chord. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of that note. So it'd be like. Ah, oh, that sounds beautiful, doesn't it? We got a nice C chord there and then a G chord, okay. Uh, let's do, uh, because the cellos and the horns are in long note mode, I think you can change that using what's called key switches, but that's kind of a complicated topic for now. Let's just make it easy. So we're just going to add another track. And it's going to be a BBC Symphony Orchestra track. Fantastic. And we're going to choose the horns again. 
but instead of the long notes, we're going to make them the staccatissimo notes. There we go. And so now we've got uh, those going on here. That's perfect. So at the beginning of measure five, uh, let's see. I wonder if we can just paste the same chord. Oh, yes, we can. That's great. So let's see right there. What does that sound like with the horns playing that? I like it, yeah. Okay, so we've got that jump bump, 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 bump. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Ah, nice. Yeah, and now you know what we could do? We could just copy this whole thing. Uh, yeah, and copy that. And now we'll add in some uh, spiccato cellos as well, I think. Let's add another track. So here we go. Uh, yes. And here we go. Cellos. All right. Spiccato. That'll be great. Very nice short note. Okay. And we will just paste that into somewhere in a good cello octave. Maybe around here. Oh, it got it defaulted to way up here. So we need to highlight these and we're gonna take them down. Maybe just press the down key. How about shift down? Nope. How about control down? Nope. I am messing up a whole bunch here. Okay, how about we just take these and just drag them? Yeah. That sounds good. Cool. Uh, somehow I opened up a bunch of tracks over here. I don't know. My view is getting a bit complicated, but... I like the sound, though. That's good. And uh, let's just play our composition from the beginning. Let's see what it sounds like. Here we go. Oops. I'll move the playhead back somewhere here. There we go. Very nice. Hey, look at that. Cool. We've got a little film score going on here. And it was all with absolutely free software. You could just as well do this in GarageBand too. Uh, but I'm using Cakewalk because I have a Windows computer. And Cakewalk is free on Windows. So is this BBC Orchestra. And enjoy. It's super fun. Yeah. <laughs>